On the 5th of March, we mentioned senior Sheffield nurse, 51-year-old Paul Grayson, who worked at the Royal Hallamshire Hospital in Sheffield. Grayson admitted on Wednesday, the 2nd of March, to six charges, including voyeurism and making indecent images of children. The operating theatre nurse had previously admitted 17 charges, including sexual assault. The latest offences of which were disclosed in March that were committed between 2017 and 2020, including filming women showering and using the toilet and making 123 indecent photos and three indecent videos of children. Although back in March, the story from South Yorkshire Police was that his offending was not related to his work as a nurse. Repeat, his offending was not related to his work as a nurse. However, the latest information is that Grayson filmed up the gowns of unconscious women patients and recorded staff using the toilet at the Royal Hollamshire Hospital. Grayson ultimately admitted 23 charges and has now been sentenced at Sheffield Crown Court. Grayson was caught when a young woman that he knew personally became suspicious of him filming her. She found a library of images of her on hard drives and memory sticks that he had hidden. Within the files it said there was footage of her naked, including when she was a child. Michael Smith, prosecuting, said Grayson started at the hospital in 1994 and rose to become a charge nurse, the male equivalent of a sister. He worked on a one-to-one -one basis with patients both before and after surgery. Apparently, one of his victims has still yet to be identified from the footage, meaning that there is someone out there still who has no idea that this sick bastard did anything to them. Sheffield Crown Court heard how Grayson, with more than 25 years' experience, also pleaded guilty to filming five nurses using a toilet at the hospital and also videoed two other young women who were not connected to the hospital using hidden cameras and yet South Yorkshire Police said it had nothing to do with his work. Wankers. Sentencing Grayson, Judge Jeremy Richardson QC said he had brought shame on the honourable profession. Grayson had betrayed every ounce of trust reposed in you. You have already been stripped of your status as a nurse by your professional body, so you should be. Judge Richardson referred to the pre-sentencing report and said that Grayson had been described as a dangerous offender who was fixated by sex and who satisfied that fixation by committing the crimes. Grayson of Woodstock Road in Sheffield pleaded guilty to charges including 14 charges of voyeurism, 3 charges of sexual assault, 1 charge of upskirting, 1 charge of taking indecent images of a child, one charge of installing recording equipment for the purpose of sexual gratification, three charges of possessing indecent images of children. This is like the NHS version of David Carrick. Shit, Grayson was handed a 12 year sentence by Judge Richardson for his campaign of sickening behavior and was also told he would be subjected to an extended license period of four years when he is eventually released. Professor Chris Morley, Chief Nurse at Sheffield Teaching Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust, said what Grayson did was truly despicable and unforgivable. While this was an incredibly rare occurrence, we never want it to happen to anyone else and as a result we are examining all of the information now to, available to determine if there are further measures that we can take to limit the opportunity for someone to do this in the future. Detective Sergeant Sarah Dolby of South Yorkshire Police said instead of taking care of the unconscious women who were the victims of his filming, Grayson instead committed utterly horrendous acts. She added, in interview, Grayson admitted having an insatiable addiction to voyeurism and pornography. I have no doubt had he not been caught, his offending would have continued. I'll tell you what, if he hadn't been caught and he resigned, he could have got a job with the police. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. It helps grow the channel. Let me know your thoughts, as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.